Hello everyone, today we're here in the shop. We're gonna be taking a product from Smooth On and we're going to take some styrofoam cutouts that I made and make them more rigid and durable so that they can actually be a sculpture that can withstand impacts and things like that. It, it won't be so fragile. So it'll be a more durable work of art that people would actually wanna own. So we'll look at what that entails today. So this right here is Epsilon Pro. It is a brushable epoxy for coating styrofoam and other surfaces. Uh, it comes in a mixture where you have a part A and a part B. It is a two to one ratio, two A's, one B. And so I'm gonna mix some of that up in a minute and I'm going to use it to coat one of my new paintings. So I have various methods of making sculptures and paintings out of trash. <laughs> and this is one of them. So these are, this is packing material that would have ended up somewhere probably in a landfill. But now it's gonna make some very durable and interesting art. All right, first thing is first, I'm going to stir these up. So as you can see, these are brand new. I've never even punctured the seal yet. Uh, I've got some baby food jars over here to use for mixing and uh, also, or for measuring rather, and then I'm going to mix them in this little piece of recycled or reused plastic bowl here. Uh, I reuse everything. It's good for the environment and it's even better for my pocketbook. So I use these things for all kinds of things. I save everything I can. Uh, I use these uh, to house molding, uh, to mold, house molds, and to mix in and all kinds of things. So, so let's go ahead and open this up. Stir it up really good. It says stir it well. So we're going to stir this one, and then we're going to stir the next one. All right. So I want to make sure I'm careful to stir the sides and the bottom really good. And now I'm ready to measure some of this out. So I'm just going to roll this around if I can to stop the flow a little. There we go. Let's see if I can't scrape some of this off into here. At least not one, not. And then I'll just roll the uh, edges here real quick to get it to stop dripping. And I will go ahead and cap that again. And then whatever this fills up to be, I'm going to double it on this side. Now I realize that doesn't quite look like double. But part of that is because the bell-shaped bottom. So I have to be mindful of that. Now just time to pour these in here. It may take a couple hundred years. I think I'm going to leave this one upside down for a while. And let it run out the bottom. Let gravity do some of the work for me. All right. Let's check on our progress. I've got my gloves on now. I usually like to use some really nice uh, aloe vera gloves, but they haven't migrated their way back from the pandemic. So I'm going to take these and make sure I get the rest of that goop out of there. I want to make sure I get all of that out. 
Oh yeah, it looks like honey. Actually, it looks more like uh, Cairo. Let's see which one it tastes like. Not really. So I like to talk about which art supplies we can eat and which ones we can't. And this would be one of the ones on the can't list. We do not want to eat epoxy resin. But that's part B achieved. I don't know why this whole video I've had uh, A and B swapped. Where B is in front and A is in the back so if you're uh, one of those people kind of like me if I'd noticed that it probably would have really bothered me and then I poured B first before I poured A the reason I poured B first though was because I knew it was gonna be harder to mix and get out of there if I'd had two equal sized disposable bowls I would have just poured uh, I would have measured in the disposable bowls and then poured the thinner one, the A, over into the one with B instead of pouring them both. But it is what it is. That's the thing about reusing trash. You don't always have trash that's just the right size. All right. Now it is time to stir this up. It says to stir it for a long time. So I'll just fast forward through that. I'm just gonna make sure that I let you know that we're scraping the sides, we're trying to get in the corners, getting in all the recesses. Uh, trying to make sure I'm scraping the bottom. Now that it is properly mixed, we can begin to apply it. All right, now it's time just to clean up a little bit and let that cure. That should be ready in about 16 hours. So when I come back tomorrow, it'll be ready. We'll take a look at it then, see how well it turned out. Okay, we're back here the next day. This is how it turned out. Pretty hard. Feels about like it needs a second coat, I think, but it's still very durable feeling. Not at all like styrofoam. So I'll put that second coat on today and then it will really be durable. <laughs> 